Exactly. Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Here are my requests. A report of success. By all means, I will await a report of success. A shame. Very well, then. You need. Baby, still with me. Da, 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 da. You gotta tell now. Da, 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 da. All done here. Come back soon.
good day. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Marvelous. Is that true? Very well. Good to see you. Well, we'll take as long as you need. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. I never feel like the
can't believe I let this happen. How pathetic. Oh. I'm in bad shape. I just told you I'm in bad shape, didn't I? Don't piss me off, kid. Making my headache worse. I'm not gonna waste my breath repeating myself. I completely forgot I have a memorial service to conduct. Signing the Heart Sutra with a hangover is gonna be rough. Back in the day, all I needed was a cold shower and I'd be fine no matter how much I drank. I guess I'm getting old, huh? It's always in times like these, when it's hardest to be alone. is for no two things in this world are the same well put it simply no matter how hard you try to live your life right else can always mess it up because form is emptiness and emptiness is form maybe getting involved with you messed up my life a bit too <laughs>
glad we can meet up one more time before I take off. I told you last time, right? I'm getting a job. The factory's way out west, so I'm moving into a dorm there. I've already sent my luggage. I just gotta send myself. My mom started crying and blaming herself. But I'm the one who wants to do this. This is a new chapter in my life. Guess I should say goodbye to this ramen, too. Well then, I... better get going. Sure, then let's head to the station. It's a car key, obviously, but it's not just any car key. It's the key to my dad's car. I've been keeping it for good luck. Sometimes I get pretty pissed that he's not around anymore. My life wouldn't have been so complicated, you know? I could have enjoyed track more. I wouldn't have had all that pressure to be the best. But by blaming him like that, I was just running away from my problems. That's why I want you to have it. I don't want to risk running away again. If I know you have it, I'll be able to stand on my own two feet. Then, next time we meet, I can still be proud of who I am. <sighs> Thank you. We'll see each other again someday.
morning.
Seven, eight, nine. Shoot, I'm coming up short on my counts. I have to find one more new person. Damn it all! Why doesn't anyone take me seriously? I'm not gonna lose to my brother again. I'll show him. I'll show them all! King's dumb jokes. <laughs> I don't get it. I was fine up until a minute ago, then suddenly I felt sick. Yeah, every once in a while, my body sort of rewinds the meal on me. Hey, don't you worry about me. This is a trial I have to face before I'm reborn anyway. If I want my place in paradise after this world ends, I have to prove my worth. It'd mean a lot to me if you considered, uh, coming to paradise with me too. My stomach was giving me trouble. You'll have to wait till next time to hear about paradise. But for now, let's just focus on our ramen. Ooh. Sir, can I get some rice and dry seaweed? I'll salvage this ramen by turning it into a rice soup. Sorry to bother you like this. I just had a hard time focusing when I tried doing my homework alone. Thank you for agreeing to study with me. Koromaru says he'll study with us too. Right, boy? It must be tough for you guys having to think about tests at a time like this.
you're actually enjoying this? Even in the face of grave danger, you never give up. You fight back with all your might. Like a hero! That's so cool! Still, the only thing we can do is carry on and complete our schoolwork as always. What's the matter, Korumaru? Huh. He's got something in his mouth. Did you bring this here for us? <laughs> Thanks, Koromaru. I guess he's trying to cheer us up. I shouldn't make him worry so much. Okay, time to study. If I have any questions, can I ask you for help? And done! That's it for my homework! Oh, you're still studying, aren't you? Is it okay if I stay here for a little while? I'll be sure not to bother you. Koromaru and I will be cheering you on. Good luck. Oh, are you all done now? Cool. Koromaru was with us the whole... Wait, what? Where did he go? Were you waiting for us to finish? I guess it's our turn to hang out with him. Thanks for studying with me today. If you're okay with it, I'd like to do this again sometime. Elizabeth speaking. I'm calling in regard to a recent change in Tartarus. It seems that a path that had been blocked off is now open. I thought it prudent to inform you. Well then, I wish you a safe journey. Hello. Right. All right. It looks like everyone's here now. Well, it's been a week. What's our plan? You okay, Fuka? You're just so calm, Yukari-chan. I mean, panicking's not gonna solve anything. Besides, it's been such a drag around here all week, and no one will go to Tartarus. You're absolutely right. We humans are quite resilient. With enough time, we can adapt to any situation. So, how about it, everyone? It's time we discuss this. Have you made up your mind, Sonata-san? No, but I don't plan on running away. So you're going to fight Nyx? I don't know. 
I mean, it supposedly can't be defeated. What about you? What are your thoughts on it? Honestly, this is the first time I've ever really contemplated my own death. In any case, we have to choose one way or the other. I obviously don't want to suffer, but that means we'd have to take a life. Not to mention, we die no matter what we do. Then, do we all agree that we don't want to hurt Ryoji-kun? Is that how you feel? M me? Um... That's fair. I mean, it's not exactly normal to pick how you're gonna die. What about you, Junpei? Have you decided? Nah. What's the matter? Scared? What the hell is wrong with you? You think this is a joke? Junpei, I... This is death we're talking about here! Of course I'm scared! And here you all are, just chatting it up like it's a goddamn picnic! Can't you see? We're all gonna die! Then what do you think we should do? Do you want to kill him? There's nothing I can do! He's the only one who can kill him! Hey! <sighs> this whole thing is your fault! You had that thing inside you and didn't even know it! You raised it, damn it! If it weren't for you, none of this would have happened! Junpei! You're supposed to be special, right? Then do something about it! Junpei, it's not his fault. And the only reason we even have a choice is because he carried it. God damn it, I know! It's just, it doesn't matter how many times I tell myself. I know this doesn't fix anything. It scares the hell out of me! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. We're all scared. I'm scared too. Me too. I've never felt so cornered in my life. <sighs> I can't stop shaking. Same here. We're all in the same boat. And hey, I'm sorry for teasing you earlier. I just don't want to forget everything. I've learned so much since coming here. Yukatan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to yell at you like that. I don't think any of us can blame you right now, Junpei. So don't worry about it. Right? I'm sorry. I knew the truth deep down, but still. Sorry for being a dick. Alright. Let's put a pause on any unnecessary gatherings for now. Ryoji said he'll be back on New Year's Eve. Let's just try to go about our lives until then. We have some time, so let's consider our options while we still can.
Secret. This is for your ears only, okay? This world is gonna end soon. All of humanity is gonna be completely wiped out. But don't worry, we'll be recreating it as a new land for the survivors. Paradise. Well, did that just blow your mind? Everyone has wings and perfect figures, and they smell like flowers. I... I can finally be reborn into a worthwhile body! But if we don't do something, you'll get left behind when the world ends. And I do not want that to happen. So come on, we'll go to paradise together. Don't do it because you're my subject, okay? Do it because we're... friends. So how about this? If we factor in initiation fees, scriptures, and other products, uh... It comes out to 132,000 yen! You could take out a loan, right? Not to mention you'll get a discount since I'll be referring you to. <laughs> you are one lucky guy! Insane one with that sinful mouth of yours! I just wanted to share eternal happiness with you because I care about your soul! I have to go repent on your behalf! In the name of faith! Emergency! Mitsuru, that section won't be covered on the exam. Oh, uh, sorry. I'm having some difficulty concentrating. Guess that's to be expected with everything going on. I'm not immune to it either. Sorry. I know we're the ones who invited you to study, but... Well, just look at us. I do understand that. But not everyone can carry themselves like you do. But I suppose as your senpais, we should be showing you a little more dignity. You do have a point. Well, we can't let ourselves be outdone now, can we? Rain or shine, this is still the last exam we'll ever take as high school students. All the more reason to give it our all. You're right. There's no excuse for slacking. It's time to prove what these last three years have led up to. Ooh, I see the fire in your eyes. At this rate, I may have to relinquish my position as top student. That said, test results are but a single measure. What truly matters is that we continue to improve ourselves. May we both make this a triumphant finale to our time here. And who 
was the one who stoked the flames. I expect you'll see this study session through to make up for that. Well, I think we've dallied enough. We'll need to make up for lost time. So much time had passed. Guess I was in the zone. I don't think I've been able to focus this well in a long while. I've just finished reviewing the material. Serious? <laughs> Not even close. But I guess that means we've earned a bit of your respect back. We're almost through this. Keep at it, you two. Cool. Guess that's that. Now all we gotta do is ace the exams. Let's skim through this chapter! doing so well lately, you know? And it's all because of your blasphemy. I begged so hard for your soul that I think I actually lost weight. Look at me! I'm paper thin now! Oh, you really think so? I eat the same amount of food, though. I get what you're trying to say. You're embarrassed to be seen with me, right? I'm not like my little brother. I'm not smart or athletic, and I have weird stubby legs. And my pants are covered with food stains. I'm just a thorn in everyone's side. They all wish I could be more like my little brother. All they do is make fun of me. I just want this whole world to disappear. But the world can't end yet. Not until I save you first. Look, I can try harder! I just need to make it to paradise. That should solve all my problems! I'll be taller and more slender, and my body will glow! So I'll be safer at night! See? Then I won't be inferior to my brother, and you won't hate being seen with me. So please, don't abandon me. go, so I don't have time to eat today. I haven't earned forgiveness just yet. And I have to find a new member to recruit soon. That was him just now. So can handle it. Yeah, all I gotta do is rough him up and I get paid. You know, I've got this buddy who's kinda strapped for cash too, if you catch my drift. Fine, you'll both get paid. Just make sure you finish the job. Huh? Oh, it's you. 132,000 yen, right? That's the same trick he used on my son. If you know what's good for you, I'd stay the hell away from him.
You were actually able to keep up with me on my training regimen. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, what do you think? Well, the reason I asked you to join me today is... We finally found you, Akihiko Sonata. We've had a good run up until now. Today's where it ends. Don't feel bad about screaming if you gotta. No one's coming to save you, though. These guys just don't know when to quit. There's no getting away this time. Not for you, and not for your chicken shit buddy, either. Not that it'd matter anyway. You guys live at the dorm nearby, don't you? Yeah, we saw some girls there. And a kid, too. Sure hope they're keeping safe. <laughs> Stay back. I'll create an opening so you can escape. If you're going after my friends, then I'll be your first obstacle. Come on. Make your move. Don't you know what'll happen if a trained guy like you hits an amateur? The boxing team will be suspended, and you'll be expelled. Or worse, you'll go to prison, and your life will be over. Is that what you want? Huh? That is true. I can never do something like that to my supervisor, or my boxing teammates. <laughs> but even if that's how I feel, I can't back down now. I'll carry that responsibility and pay for it the rest of my life if I have to. I will protect what's important to me. That's why I have these fists. Ah, what the hell are you going on about? Oh. <laughs> All right, then. I'll trust my back to you. Just try not to hurt him. I'm sure you can handle that. Cocky little bastards! Looks like that does it. That was quite the challenge considering their numbers. Are you alright? Don't ever show your face around here again. If I ever hear you're threatening my friends, you know what'll happen next. <laughs> Got it. Come on, it's getting cold. Plus, someone might have called the police. Let's go to my room for now. Well, I'd like to put out some tea, but I have to take these off first. They're hand wraps, mainly for protecting my hands and wrists. Not only do these protect me, but they can affect the power of my punches depending on how I wrap them. Whether my fists deal damage or not depends on these. I guess they're like my partners in the ring. Anyways, make yourself comfortable. So, the reason I asked you to join me today it's because I wanted you to know what I've been working on. I spent a lot of time training and gaining more experience. And I thought I'd finally reached a point where I could feel confident in my abilities. But after hearing what the appraiser said, I felt afraid. I felt anger too. Knowing that all the training I'd put myself through was meaningless. I told myself I'd face things head on. But I'm still as weak as I was before. Tell me, do you think I'm strong enough now? <laughs> You're totally right. I'm sure I'll find my answer soon enough. Everyone loses confidence in themselves from time to time. And that's when their weakness rears its ugly head. Being on the verge of grasping something, 
grappling with the fear and frustration of losing everything again. <laughs> it's so hard to overcome. And it's a feeling I understand all too well. I know we've pushed this crucial decision on you. And I can only imagine how hard that must be. But try not to blame Junpei and the others. <laughs> you really are strong, you know that? Anyway, as someone who is there too, I just wanted you to know. No matter what you decide, I'm still gonna do what I have to do. I faced off against countless opponents to get where I am now. If I said all my training was meaningless, then that would be spitting on all of their efforts too. And that would be absolutely unacceptable. Wouldn't you agree? Sorry, I didn't mean to go on a tangent like that. Not only did I ask you to join me today, but you got dragged into my fight too. <laughs> I've got to at least pay you back for that. I'm pretty sure my special protein blend is around here somewhere. thinking of sending that back to my parents when I write them a New Year's card. We don't know how the future is going to turn out. It's better if it doesn't stay with me. <laughs> You're one unusual guy. I was thinking this during the fight earlier, but for some reason, I feel like I can trust you to watch my back. Together, we can overcome anything. For a long time, all I cared about was having the power to protect others. And I thought being hard on myself and competing with others was the only way I was going to do that. Although, it is true that I've gotten more capable through my reckless approach. But now, there are others who fight alongside me. So I have people who I want to protect. But at the same time, I want them to be there fighting with me. In the end... It's because I have all of you that I feel like I can become even stronger. I still don't know if I'm strong or kind enough to deserve this medal, but this is my starting point. And it's something that I should keep with me. You've taught me another valuable lesson today. Now, where to put this? Oh, sure. I did it, Miki. It's a huge honor. I'll fight to protect it like a champ, guarding his title. I may not be very good at motivating people with words, or communicating how I feel, but you can trust I'll never back down from a fight. Even if I'm battered and on the ground, I'll get back up every time. I'll never give up. That's my duty to all of you. So you can count on me. I swear I will protect you. That being said, there's still so much I owe you for. I'll be doing what I can to pay back that debt. I haven't really thanked you for all your help until now either. Ah, oh, right. I was going to at least thank you for what you did today. Hmm, damn. Looks like I'm out of protein powder. What else do I have? Ah, here. You can have these dumbbells. Just a minute. I'll get them ready for you. You could change the weight on these ones to match whatever your muscle strength is. In your case, I'd start with... 8 kilos. No, actually, I think you can handle 10. You could also use a machine. But you gotta do some resistance training with free weights, too.
been waiting. I finished my story and wanted to show it to you. I was having a lot of trouble with the ending. But I finally figured it out. After the alligator ate his friend, the bird, he cried and cried for a long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a sparkling lake around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree that bore delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone. The end. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator didn't find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. They just didn't realize it. The meaning of my life isn't something I should spend my time on. It's more about how I was able to affect others. So, for me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know how to explain it, but does that make sense? I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote my story in. I've poured my heart and soul into it. I wanted to give you this, since you shared my final moments. My body feels lighter. I'm so grateful to have met you. It seems so insignificant, but maybe there was some meaning in it for both of us. Thank you. In the end, I'm glad that I was born. to go now. Maybe someday we'll meet again. I'd like that.
Hey. So, uh, didn't Kirijo Senpai say we shouldn't be hanging out like this? Think she'll be mad if she finds out? I kind of doubt it, but I won't deny that seeing you all does remind me of recent events. Right. Well then, why don't we just call it a wrap here? Um, Sonata Senpai, I'd like to ask for some help with this question. Oh, uh, wait, Jinpei-kun, I wanted to ask you, uh, um... I think I'll take Koromaru for a walk. Hey, wait! We'll all take him on a walk when we're done. You can sit back down, Amata-kun. Hmm? Oh, uh, I guess you found out. I was planning on inviting you too, Mitsuru-senpai. I do understand that we don't have time for chit-chat, but I just wanted to spend time with everyone. Um, this was actually my idea. I was the one who wanted to gather everyone. So, I'm sorry. I don't want everyone to get in trouble for my selfishness. <sighs> hey, you shouldn't be the only one that has to apologize. I feel the same way, Fuka. Thanks, Yukari-chan. It's just... when I think this might be the last... Um... In any case, I apologize for this. Let's just call it for today. <sighs> Thank you. After warning you all, I wasn't sure how to go back on it. I was actually taking a walk to mull it over. Yukari, Yamagishi, I feel the same way you do. Uh, you did say we should try to go about our lives for now. You hear that, Junpei? Let's get to it. If we're talking my life, studying's the last thing I'd be doing. Mitsuru-senpai, could you help me with this? <laughs> of course. What question did you need help with? we've been studying. Time really flies when we're all in it together. I agree. Thank you for going along with my suggestion, everyone. You think so? I hope everyone else feels the same way. By the way, I hope you haven't forgotten about taking Koromaru for a walk. Uh, of course not. Come on, everyone, let's go. That'll be it for studying, then. Everyone, make sure to give it your all on the exams.
go on ahead to the shrine. I'll grab us some takoyaki. Sweet. Be right there. Got some uh, takoyaki. This one's for you. Sure thing. Be sure to thank me for every single bite. Just messing around. To be honest, this is kind of an apology for the other day. You know, back when I blew up at you. One pack of takoyaki ain't gonna make up for it, but it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> Thanks. Still, I felt like words weren't enough for an apology. I took my anger out on you. And you totally didn't deserve that. It's because I really wanted to take out my anger on someone else. Remember when I mentioned I was visiting someone at the hospital? And how I pissed her off, but I didn't know what I did wrong? I, uh, I think I get it now. A while back, I was asked what I'd be doing with my life in two years. By Chidori. And being the insensitive dumbass I am, I said something like, eats me for a long time. I didn't even understand how it must have felt for her to ask me that. So it's no wonder she got upset. She was facing something really scary. And there I was, acting like it was no big deal. The other day, when everyone was all calm and chatting about what Ryoji said, it put everything into perspective. When it finally hit me, I lost my shit and snapped at you. I'm really sorry about that, man. Hey, come on, eat up. Don't want cold takoyaki, do you? Woohoo, that was tasty. And it's not too bad cold either. Hey, by the way, have you decided what you're gonna do on the 31st yet? Gotcha. Look, man. Me and the others might tell you all kinds of stuff, but whatever we say, go with your own gut. You've dealt with enough as it is, you know? I've always been jealous of you. You're a special dude, and everyone's always counting on you. But at the same time, I knew you were the one making all the tough calls. You're always looking out for everyone around you, even people like me. Sure, I was jealous, but watching you? I knew I could never be you. So? I figured maybe it's time you chose what you wanted to do for a change. Besides, forgetting everything doesn't exactly sound so bad, does it? Uh, I mean, I obviously wouldn't like that. It sucked to forget everything. But that's just how I feel. You should follow your feelings. Whatever you choose, I won't let anyone tell you otherwise. All right, <sighs> that's enough serious stuff. Chats like this make my throat all dry. Or maybe it's just a takoyaki. Let's grab a drink somewhere and head back. Is that okay with you, Mr. Leader?
Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. How may I assist you? Now then, let's begin. Well then. This power might be too much for you. for you. This power might be too much for you. This power might be too much for you. This power might be too much for you. This would be a wise choice. Would be a wise choice. This would be a wise choice. This persona is powerful. Very well. We look. Time to start exploring. Let's move. I gotta face off against another person once in a while, or else I might lose that competitive drive. I kind of feel sorry for any... We've 
reached the 199th floor. I can't believe there's more than 200. Once upon a time, I thought we'd be done by the 30th floor. Yeah. You've got the initiative. They don't seem very Shall strong. I move to strike? I'm ready. victory. That certainly went well. Look at it. Wandering around like a clown. Found the stairs. Wanna climb up? Excellent leadership.
Pegasus, you'll have to use trial and error. Show them, Artemisia! Coordination. Perfect. Just what we hoped for. I was hoping the 200th floor would be the end goal. Of course, it's not that easy. what we hope. It's one of those doors. We... Let's do this. Let's do this. All right, let's do this. I don't know their weaknesses yet. Can you test something out? I'll show you! I 
Let's be on our way. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Next, the ship. Enemy spotted. Let's take him down. Excellent. We have the advantage. You can hit a weakness with this. Certainly went well. Hmm? There's a powerful enemy ahead. Oh, 
That certainly went well. Doing. 